Manifest on Purpose. My name is Kimberly Williams. I am a mindset consultant specializing in manifestation. I help you align your mindset with the things that you desire in your life to help you manifest in your life. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's manifest on purpose. Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday to you. Welcome to the Manifesto on Purpose Mindset Show, conversation number seven. Today, we're going to talk about knowing your cycles and why that is important to you. I am your host, Kimberly Williams. I am a manifestation mindset consultant, and I help you align your mindset with the things you really want in your life so that you can bring forth the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing this with your friends and family, and thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. Wash, rinse, spin, repeat. If you've ever washed your own laundry before, you may be familiar with the wash cycle. Just in case you're not familiar with it, I'll briefly explain it because trust me, I've done more than my share of laundry. You first gather your clothing, put them in the washer, with your detergent. It is now time for the wash cycle. First, the washer fills up with water and the wash cycle begins. This is when the clothing are actually being washed with the detergent. Next up, the water spins out and fills up with fresh water to begin the rinse cycle. The rinse cycle gets the soap out of the laundry, then you have the spin cycle. The spin cycle is purpose to drain the extra water off the clothing so that the clothing can dry. The cool thing about this cycle and all cycles is that there is no guesswork required. You can depend on cycles to repeat. Wash, rinse, spin, and repeat. A cycle is a series of events that repeat. Yes, this includes events you experience in your day-to-day, but it's much deeper than that. Everything done on the micro scale in the universe begins at the macro level. Your life is a cycle that contains many cycles. Become aware and prepare for your cycles. Examples of cycles are The seasons. Each season is a part of a cycle. Pregnancy is a cycle. Let me share with you a cycle I became aware of in my very own life. It was July 4th last year. I was on my way home from one of those usual road trips. I was fortunate enough to be sitting on the passenger side. It was a hot July 4th, and I just relaxed and got lost in the clouds when I had an almost like deja vu moment. I found myself in a moment that happened exactly seven years ago on that very day, July 4th. But that's not all. I wasn't expecting it. But I was headed to the same destination for a party on the same day. All was like it was on that day seven years ago. I did not plan this at all. I just happened to be on the exact same highway going to the exact destination that I had been seven years ago. It was amazing to me that I was just able to remember that very moment. You know me, it's been on my mind since it has happened. I've been working to connect the event, but what I did become aware of is that it's a cycle in my life. The event that occurred seven years ago was a new beginning for me. It was the very day I was taking a step 
outside of the box and moved to a new city. Here I was now on my way to that city from a trip that was in my hometown. To me, this let me know that it was a new beginning for me. I reflected back to the previous seven years and it was the exact same time that my husband and I reunited. Another new beginning. The years in between even correspond. The same things that were happening to me the year after happened to me in those previous years. I'm currently uncovering this using my astrology natal chart. If you're interested in assessing your natal chart, check out the video I've uploaded on YouTube. The one thing that was exciting about discovering this new cycle in my life, well, not really new cycle, but the cycle that I was newly aware of, is the fact that I can use it to prepare. Your cycles can be used as a roadmap for you. When you become aware of your cycles, you learn how to navigate them. Think about the seasons. Fall is usually harvest season. Most farmers gather their crops in the fall and know that the winter is a barren season, at least in this part of the United States. Gathering the crops in the fall prepares them for the winter season. There can be cycles in any areas of your life. You may experience health cycles, career cycles, relationship cycles, and even financial cycles. Do you have a certain cycle in the year where your career is especially exceptional? It lets you know when is the best time to start a business, ask for a promotion, or apply for a new position. Paying attention to your cycles can help you grow. To be more aware of your cycles, practice regular mindfulness. The day-to-day -day things can take over if you don't take time to observe the present. Practicing mindfulness opens you up to synchronicity. I was practicing mindfulness when I had my moment of deja vu. Your cycles will unfold as you become aware. When you begin to recognize cycles and patterns in your life, write them down and create a strategy from that in which you've learned. There are also generational cycles. The reason why they go on so long is because no one has recognized them or work to improve the cycle. If your cycles are not serving you, redirect them. The way you redirect them is to recognize first what about the cycle you can improve. When you find it, make that improvement. Let's go back to the cycle of pregnancy. The doctor and parents prepare for nine months for the baby. The mother that is seeking a healthy birth may focus more on her health, diet, and exercise. The doctor usually prepares the parents by ensuring that everything is okay and notifying the mother about how she can increase the chances of a healthy birth. All while the fetus is growing daily, preparing for arrival. All of these things are in preparation for the end of one cycle that begins another. A cycle is like a circle. It has no ending nor beginning. It's continuous. I'm sure glad that the laundry cycles are not continuous like our life cycles. But it does repeat. Wash, rinse, spin, and repeat. How did I go so many years without recognizing my seven-year cycle? I'll tell you how. I had gotten so caught up in the day-to-day -day that I could not hear the whispers of my higher self. It took the clarity that I found in mindfulness. Pay attention. Your cycles are trying to tell you something. They're roadmaps to help you on this journey. When you know your cycles, 
You know how to prepare for them. You learn where you can improve and redirect them. And you also know when the best times of your cycles are. Become aware of your cycles and prepare for them. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Let's prepare for today's meditation. If you're driving, please don't attempt this now. Download it and save it for later. If you are not driving, please find a comfortable location, a location that is distraction free and safe. Relax. Focus on your breathing. Today's meditation is reflection on the cycles in your life. Enjoy the meditation. Thank you.